Welcome to this new episode of Nocturnal Visitors to our camps. Today we're going to be looking at scorpions. Scorpions are more like residents in our camps, since we coexist with them every day. Did you know that scorpions can live up to 28 years and it takes them like one to two years to reach maturity? There are several families of scorpions in southern Africa. We will focus on Scorpionidae and Bucidae because we tend to encounter them the most out here in the bush. Those from the Scorpionidae family have large powerful pedipulps and actually a very slender tail. Their venom is mild and not dangerous to humans and they rely on their big pedipulps to catch prey. Scorpions from the Buthidae family, like the Parabuthus scorpions, our most venomous scorpions in southern Africa, have small pedipulps and a thick tail. They have a potent venom that is also harmful to humans and potentially fatal. Their venom, however, is not venomous to other scorpions. At the end of their thick tail, they have the so-called telcin, which is the sting, which contains the venom glands and the stinger. They can control how much venom they inject into their prey by using muscular contractions in their tail. As you may know, scorpions fluoresce under UV light. This is because of a substance in their exoskeleton. Newly molted scorpions do not fluoresce under UV light until their exoskeleton has aged a bit. Scientists are still trying to figure out why they fluoresce under UV light, but we suspect it could be for communication purposes. Let's go and find some scorpions. Yeah, it's, you can see the shape, which is very distinguishable for scorpions. Mostly uh, out of the Scorpionidae family dig holes in the ground. Probably with their pedipulps they dug it out. As, as you can see, it's a very oval shape, very recognizable for a scorpion. Other than, for example, spiders, which are mostly round. see the pincers. From what I would suggest is that it's a uh, scorpioni day because yeah. of the large pedipulps that you can see. We can't really see the tail now because it's hiding away from the UV light because they're very reactive to it as well. But as we can see large pedipulps compared to the body which suggests to us a small tail that it should be a scorpion a day. I think I can see the tail. I think it's quite thin. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below and check out Eco Training's channel for more great content.